Okay, so here's the deal. My desk is 12 years old. It's Ikea, it's actually a dining room table. I've turned into a desk, uh, really hard work, you know, just put it in your office, it's a desk. Wow. It's old and it has nicks in it, like holes, like potholes on the road are on my desk. I've been covering it with a craft mat when I'm showing my work surface to you guys because I'm embarrassed, it's gross. So I'm attempting to resurface my desk and you get to watch. So here we go. By the way, Gail here has decided to take my chair from me, which he does most days. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. He thinks he's the king. I will go to sit down and he will literally sit under me. Lots of times this is a standing desk. Thanks to Gail. Yes, you. Look at you. I'm talking about you. Oh, you're just a cutie, aren't you? He knows it. Well, let's get started. wiped it with a baby wipe. Now we're gonna do some rubbing alcohol because that sounds like a good idea. Um, it usually removes all the stuff um, and it doesn't leave like a soapy residue behind like soap or dish soap or detergents would um, and maybe the baby wipe did even though they're unscented there could be like a something left behind there. So hopefully this doesn't like take the paint off or anything. I thought about painting my desk. Then I remembered how painstaking painting is, all the prep, all the work, and then the drying time. And I, I really researched for a while of what would be the best thing to do to make my desk look presentable. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to use those furniture repair sticks and I've used it a little bit. I've kind of tested it out in a couple of spots. I wasn't really happy with it, but I decided that I'm going to use those to fill up the potholes on my desk because they are like potholes. <laughs> then we're going to cover the desk. I think I'm going to try. I'm going to attempt to cover the desk with white contact paper, but I need to get rid of these holes because some of them are raised and some of them are, you know, indented. And so if I were to put contact paper over that, that would be, so we really need to fix that issue first. And I hope this works. I don't need it to be perfect. I just don't want it to be so embarrassing. You might've seen it in some of my other videos where I'm crafting away and there's a pothole on my desk. And you know, it's not, um, that big of a deal, but like with the white and then the brown hole, it's kind of, it kind of stands out. And then I have a leaf over here. This leaf um, I bring out sometimes. Sometimes the leaf is out, sometimes it's not, so we should repair all of it at the same time. Maybe, I think. That's my plan anyway. There's some kind of rust that came off of like a plant or a pot or something over here. So that'll be nice to get rid of that because I haven't been able to wash it off, whatever it is. It's kind of a orangish brown. Okay, I think we're pretty good here. I really don't know what I'm doing. I'm not a furniture repair specialist. I have never done this before other than the three little spots there. So we're, we're doing an experiment together. And my hair is like an experiment today too. <laughs> I don't know what it's doing. It's got a mind of its own. I feel like this is gonna break right off. It's not that strong and you're supposed to scrape with it and then fill the hole, but I also don't want bumps of it, of this. Okay, so here's a little crayon like thing. It's just like a big white crayon. There's like three shades of white, maybe four shades of white and then brown and black and whatever. Uh, the shade of white that I like for, I tried three different ones. The white satin matched my Ikea white the best. Okay, so 
I'm gonna need my chair, Mr. Gale. So, time for you to go. Can you go, please? I know, <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay. There's some little guys. There's a lot of little guys. I think it's like when a, a drink is here and it sweats and then it drips and then it sort of swells up. I don't really know. We have a buffet upstairs with the same surface and it's hideous. That's what happens when you buy cheap furniture. Love Ikea. Don't love my pot holes in my desk. I don't think it's gonna be perfect underneath because I probably don't have the proper tools. This guy's really bad. It's swollen. Kind of going in all directions, not just like two ways. I'm going this way and this way just to make sure that it's all even. And this is just the cap to this guy that I'm scraping with. That one will be interesting because he's very swollen and like making it bigger. I think that's pretty even. Oh, look at all that sawdust from the particle board. Gail was like, I'm so comfortable. I know, buddy. good. This part is all right, but it's not invisible. The thing is, is if you squint your eyes and you turn your head, it looks great. But when you actually look at it, you really see it. And then the other problem is in certain lighting, because this is waxy, it reflects waxy and the desk is doing its own, so then you really see the spots of like wax. We are just doing this to cover the holes. Make it so it's not dented in or dipping down underneath our contact paper. So those are the guys I've already done. Just kind of went over them to make sure and now we'll do some new guys. Here's a video where I did these guys. I'll show you so you can kind of see close up. excited to have a newer looking surface on my desk because it's a great desk it's very very nice and it's it's not flimsy or rickety at all it's gonna hold up for a long time it's just the surface is like it's definitely making a giant mess I've seen videos where they make this look so easy and so perfect and then I've seen videos where they're realistic and you're like okay it's not perfect but it's better than the big brown eyesore and I've thought about just buying the top for this desk, but they won't sell it that way. They sell the whole thing, dining room table. Uh, and it's like 400 something. It's not awful, but then that's kind of wasteful that I'm just buying a new one and throwing this one out. I feel wasteful. I mean, I could sell it and buy a new one. Maybe, like who wants the top like this, you know? It'd be cool to repurpose it for like a garage kind of work table, but I don't have a garage, sadly. But I do want a new table because it would be nice to have a new surface, but you know, I went down the rabbit hole and I this is what I decided was the best 
option. Come on, this is like the hardest part is the edge. I thought it was gonna be easier. Oh. The whole project is probably gonna be harder than I have thought or seen, planned. These little guys. Little guys. And you guys matter too. I know you're little, but you matter. Gail is over here waiting for my chair. You'll see. It gets it pretty good to where you are not seeing through this stuff to the brown. You, you know, to the yucky. You know, it really does cover the brown. It's just really obvious. That's my problem with it. And I know when my camera is here and I'm doing something, you're gonna see all these little spots kind of glowing with wax reflection, non-reflection, different reflection on the desk reflection. I don't know what this is. It's like a piece of glue or something. It feels like glue, like, like super glue. It feels very hard. And same thing with this guy that I did with this guy. I'm going in all different sort of directions to um, even out the pothole. There's a marker in here for really small. I don't think I'm gonna use it, but um, that's what you're hearing. Hi, kitty. Are you waiting for my chair? Watch this. his chair. That's the, that's the thing. Now hopefully the contact paper will stick. Even though I have all this wax. I don't know. I'm so thankful I'm not leaving it just like this. It's gonna be hard, but it's gonna be worth it. What that is. I know I got super glue over here one time. And that is stuck there. This guy looks like super glue. I don't know. get out the contact paper. Hopefully this works. Hopefully. The three questions I have before doing the contact paper is, will it look good? Question number one, hopefully. Question number two, is it gonna stick? Because we have kind of a waxy, you know, thing going on and lots of spots here. Question three, is my mouse going to work? because my mouse has worked just fine on my desk without a mouse pad. Those are my three questions. We'll answer them right now. First, I gotta move my computer. <laughs> Let's see what it looks like right now. I'll show you a close up because that way you can see what the Mohawk Furniture Repair Stick is capable of. I'm not impressed. All right, so. As you can see, there are these little, you know, it's not perfect, number one. Number two, 
you can see the residue or the wax, uh, you know? Even without, you know, glare. That's the weird hard guy, I don't know what that is. Here's the um, rust I was telling you about. I don't know how that got there. Maybe a plant or something. But as you can see, it's just, yeah, I mean, from far away, it looks better than those spots, but it's not really the best option, in my opinion. You know? It's okay. You know, it's just, it's okay. I mean, it's a little bit better. It's like going from a one to a two. All right, so we have our contact paper by Contact Brand. Um, I've used contact paper, I think, on these guys. This was uh, metal, like a shiny silver metal, so that I knew it would be magnetic. And then I covered it with chalkboard contact paper. And I did an okay job. Um, so now they're magnetic chalkboards, which is what I wanted. Uh, clearly. Uh, I don't know how this kind of looks like it's gonna be kind of see-through, because I can see the grids on the other side. But this is white, so we should be okay. I think I'm gonna take the leaf out so that I can get to the edge here, and then we'll do the leaf. And you know, I looked for contact paper that was, uh, you know, as deep as my desk, and I couldn't find any. Um, I found some that didn't have an adhesive, so I didn't know what that was, just a roll of paper. So I will have to do it, I will have to do two rows, I think will be the best solution going this way. And maybe I should read the directions here. Adhesive, removable adhesive, non-damaging, block spills. So that'll be nice in case a little bit of condensation happens. I won't get a big hole in my desk like I was. I don't see any instructions at all whatsoever. Which, you know, maybe some people use contact paper all the time and they know how to do it, like the best techniques of not getting air bubbles and and making it straight and cutting it, but uh, I don't. This is the only other time I've used contact paper. I've used shelf paper, not the same. That is the only other time. And I probably watched a bunch of videos and that was 11 years ago. Let's see what we can do here. It's our experiment, right? Let's take the leaf out. Oh, here's the instructions. Yay, instructions. First in Spanish, then in English, and then in French. I'll take the English. For bubbles, simply puncture the bubble with a pen and smooth down. Okay, cleaning with a damp cloth and mild soap. All right, remove, nope. Shelves, because I'm not gonna be removing it right now. Allow two inches of overlap for wrapping over shelf edge. I'm not gonna do the edges because my edges are fine. I'm just gonna, well, I'm not gonna do the sides. I'm just gonna go, I hope, I think that's a plan. <laughs> and then, um, corners, I know how to do that. I watched a video, you cut a slit, and then kinda, very cool. I don't think I'll do that because again, I'm not doing the sides. I'm just doing the very surface. And I don't have a round object. So there were kind of instructions. They're more like helpful hints. And, oh, application instructions. You just gotta open it up, roll it out, and there's all these words here. Apply to only clean, smooth surface. Prepare surface by cleaning with soap and water. Okay. Rinse and dry thoroughly. Products may not adhere to fabric, rough or pebbly surface, or those under 55 degrees Fahrenheit. Wow. 55 degrees, that's not really cold. Porous surfaces should be sealed completely with enamel or similar product. Measure and cut, allow at least the 3 8 inch overlap 
on all edges for possible shrinkage. Okay. Peel off edge and backing paper and fold away. Begin to apply smoothing outward from center. Key point, outward from center. Slowly continue to peel backing while smoothing outwards with a cloth, straight edge, or the contact brand applicator tool. I think I'll use my Cricut deal over there. Covering may be lifted and repositioned during application. Avoid pulling or stretching. I don't know how you lift without pulling, but we will hopefully not need to do that. All right, now we have to measure. So I'll have some, you know, bit over the edge and then I really don't want to cut it first. I want to kind of do a, you know, roll it out as I, oh gosh. Uh, I'm thinking, I'm thinking I should do the top first. Should I wash with soap and water, it says, but I just use rubbing alcohol. Soap and water seems a bit much, but well, I should do what it says. Soap and water, what kind of soap? Like dish soap? Now my desk gonna be all wet. Okay, soap and water. I'm gonna vacuum this up. Gail doesn't like the vacuum cleaner. I don't blame him. It's an awful sound. All right, soap happening. Soap is happening. Soap is happening. Soap is happening. And then water. Rinsing, rinsing, rinsing. Rinsing, rinsing, rinsing. I really feel like rubbing alcohol is much more. What does that sound? I feel like, you know, rubbing alcohol is gonna be much more cleansing, you know, without residue, but who am I to know? All the directions. Follow, 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 follow the yellow brick road. Okay. And drying. like soap. Maybe I should rinse it better. Oh no. I'm kind of worried that the contact paper is not going to stick to the waxy stuff and it's going to have like little bubbles that will just forever be there. But maybe because the other areas are sticking down that smooths it out and even if it's not sticking it's flat. You know all of this I would have had to fill the holes to paint. Maybe painting would be better. I don't know, I just, I wasn't sure how the surface would be when I was done painting. How is the surface? Is it, is there, are there lines from the brush? Is it bumpy from the roller? Is it, you know, I've painted a few walls. I've painted a fence, that sucked. I've painted furniture here and there. Have I painted furniture? I've painted pine, like raw pine wood for my children's bookcases. I painted it like a, a spring green. That was fun. I don't know, you know, that's a different, I don't, this is already painted, so I don't know what's gonna happen. So I feel like the contact paper makes sense. I saw a gal do like a faux marble contact paper on her butcher block. That was cute. I don't want faux marble, I just want white. Nothing fancy. I don't want it to distract from my work. I'm a little bit nervous because I've never done this before other than there. I guess it's no different. I can do this. I can do this. Can I do this? Can I peel the backing off? Oh look, Gail left, he doesn't like the vacuum. He'll come back, watch. Wait for me to warm up the seat and then he'll come back. Here we go. 
Oh boy. Okay. Just get like a start here. <laughs> okay, we're okay. Everything's okay. We can do it. We can do it. Right? I can do it. Okay. We're just gonna get the top part here. I don't know if you can see my beginning, but eventually you'll see something. Okay. Oh, that's pretty nice. Definitely not straight. It's just going down very bumpy because there's a couch cushion in the way. Oh, that's a lovely sound. I'm so sorry, the tree trimmers are here. Okay, so I've got like this inch that looks amazing. <laughs> Once I get past this couch cushion, it's gonna be a beautiful thing. I'm so sorry for the noise. Oh, you know what it is? It's not the tree trimmers. It's this little um, like septic guy that comes in with this big hose pipe thing, sucks something out of the manhole, and it makes a lot of noise, and then he leaves. I don't know what it is. I don't wanna know what it is. I'm thankful I don't have that job. Okay, so it'll be noisy for a minute, and, and I apologize for the noise. It's very forgiving. Like, the air bubbles want to leave, unlike a screen protector. It, like, really wants to make these bubbles. Like, I'm doing something wrong. It shouldn't be this many bubbles. No, that bubble is not leaving, and I don't like it. Probably because I didn't measure and cut it like I would. It tells you to. You know, but it's just right. okay. So, um, here's what I'm thinking: measure and cut, do what it says. This is just it's very um, wrinkly. Like I'm trying to maybe you know what? Let's move away from. lighter without my computer on it. Still do measuring and cutting like it says. It's a little bit, I don't want to waste any though. All right, so we will measure, we will cut. We will follow directions. The problem is, is getting the first part straight so that it doesn't, you know, go diagonally across the table. I wonder if the grid lines could help me, but it would be upside down. How could we use, wow, that was a terrible cut, by the way. Um, <laughs> wow, I'm not very adept at this. Okay, 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 okay. let's move this out of our way. And put the chair here and see if Mr. Dale comes back. Here he comes. Here he comes. Watch. It feels straight-ish. This guy's already wrinkled, but... Somebody's gonna comment what I'm doing wrong here. I already know and that's fine because I might have to do this another time. So please feel free to comment. I just don't understand how to get this line straight. I really don't. You know, is he going potty? I'm not going potty. All right, give him privacy. I'm gonna try to make this straight. You know how I am about straight edges. I knew this was gonna be the hardest part of this whole thing. So just relax. I'm doing it. Stressing out. But it sure looks pretty. Just the, the bubbles, the air bubbles. Oh my gosh. This seems to be the key right here. This is the way to go. Whoa, 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 whoa. Big air bubbles. 
don't you immediately start out as an air bubble? When it's wrinkled and it goes on, obviously it's gonna be an air bubble. He's waiting to use the bathroom. I'm not sure what he's waiting for. What are you doing, Gail? Can you go potty? Go potty, silly guy. What are you doing? You don't know? Okay. Mm -hmm. I speak cat, but he doesn't speak English, so. Well, every time I say it's coming along, there's a problem. But I think this is just part of the process. I'm really liking it. I'm really, really, really liking having a new surface. We got a ways to go here. Okay, I really don't know about how I feel about doing a pinhole. But I have like 12 to 20 little air bubbles here. And I think if I lift it to get it out, I'm gonna make another air bubble. That seems to be, he's in the potty. I'm probably doing this the hard way. I just feel like I am. I feel like somebody's got a cool trick and it's just like, boom, we're done. Okay, all right, relax, you're okay. Goodness gracious, you have litter on your nose. All right, I think it's straight. It looks pretty straight. It looks like it might be a slight bit Crooked. I don't know if I'm gonna see a line. I hope we don't see a line across the room. After all this hard work, yeah, I know. It's really forgiving. Like I feel, I feel. Oh, there's a big bubble right there. Goodness gracious. It's hard to tell because the white and then the lights and then. Uh, but it's really nice. It's a very nice surface. Let me tell you what which one this is. It's just contact and it's just called white. Um, but let me give you the number in case that helps if you want the exact same one because the surface is nice and I feel like my mouse will work on it but that's yet to be discovered. Uh, there's two different numbers. L-A-B-L dash C-R-T TVC-1816 and then the other number is this is right above the word white so this is probably the color 16F as in Frank dash C is in cat I think this is a 9 A is an apple 952-01 so and then it says white um with the... What did I tell you? Aw, yes, I know. You've got my chair. Or is it your chair? Okay, so the package looks like this. In case you want the same exact one. I hate when you're like, well, there's 18 different whites. I don't know which one it is. Is there a texture to it? Is there? Is it matte? Is it gloss? Is it, um, you know, is there a pattern I can't see? Because online shopping, you know? This is kind of semi like a matte, it's like a, it's like a satin. This looks like a satin and it's completely white. It's a tiny bit see-through, but since I'm putting it on white, it's okay. I mean, a very tiny bit see-through, not really see-through, just, you know, just a little, like a piece of paper, you might see through the other side, but like good paper, but not like hard stuff. The noise you're hearing is the litter robot doing its thing because the elbow's my potty. In case you can, I don't know if you can hear it, but in case you can. Oh boy, starting to go too fast here. Not paying attention to the air bubbles. I'm just so excited, so excited. I feel like this is better than painting in the way that I don't have to wait for it to dry. I don't have to inhale the fumes. Even when they're low VOCs and all that, it's still a, like paint fumes right in the middle of our house, you know? Okay. 
this edge is awful just because it's pretty tattered underneath. Okay, so for example, you can probably see, let's get this air bubble out. Come on. So there is a pothole right here. And you can, you know, he's there, because this is somewhat see-through, but it looks a million times better than that. I think, before I put the other piece on, I should get the guys that are over here on the, on this edge. So have you ever done this before? Have you ever covered something with contact paper? How successful were you? Did you like it? Did you um, keep it? Were you, you know, was it like amazing? If so, share your video. I'd like to see that. Because uh, this is kind of a project, you know? Better than painting, though. Better than painting. It's funny to watch a little air bubble creep along. It's almost like a drop of water. Air is fluid. That would make sense. Even though it's a gas, it is a fluid. Like, oh, well, I don't know. I'm not a scientist. But I feel like I'm right. I think this looks really, really good. There are some air bubbles. That's okay. Now we will do this one. I'm really excited. I'm really, really excited. I have, I take care of things. I like to keep it clean, but when the surface just looks all pockmarked, it just really takes away from like, why even bother keeping it clean and looking nice if there's gonna be pockmarks all over. Like, it just really takes away, you know? You know, I think the grid on the back is great for measuring. If you know, this is six feet. I'm gonna measure six feet, but I'm just kind of eyeballing it. Ooh, I need an overlap for sure. I know that. You should be good. I hope the overlap looks good. I hope it looks good. I wonder if I shouldn't have an overlap, if that would be better, but that would be nearly, no. No, not gonna do it. Not gonna do it. I'm gonna have an overlap, and that's that. You know, I did measure that this, no, oh, this would be long enough for my desk, but I didn't measure that it would also cover the buffet, which I might have to buy some more. Oh, my lovely light likes to flicker. Okay, I can feel that. See? Hello. Look, it's already kind of like, it's doing this, like uh, scalloping almost, or like, oh, really? Thank you. Like a wave. So that doesn't help with, I think it's because of the roll, that does not help with uh, air bubble situation. All right. Oh. Jeez. Oh dear heavens. I always forget about this corner because usually my desk is back here, but because I had to take out the leaf, I had to move the desk out here. And so normally this is not a factor. Oof. Ow. I'm sorry, kitty. Well, okay, that'll be for the blooper reel. Didn't know that was gonna happen, did you? <laughs> I hope that wasn't too traumatizing for you. Believe. Okay, I put that up for Christmas like two years ago and I haven't taken it down, I like it. Oh. I think I'm okay, I'm not bleeding, so we should be fine. Uh, <laughs> Don't do that again. Don't try this at home. If I pass out, call the police. <laughs> Nobody's home right now. All right. Take a deep breath. We are going to peel off the edge. I'm bringing this over here so I'll have it ready. Just you, you be nice. I think I dented it. <laughs> just kidding. I'm just gonna peel this back get it started. Okay. Then. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. This is so, this is so like, this beginning part is so nerve wracking. Like, okay, this is gonna be straight, right? Oh dear. 
Okay. Okay. I think this is a good start. Just got a big line here. I don't know what I'm doing. Okay. So I do see the line a bit more than I would like to. I don't know how I feel about that. That's where paint might have been better. But. Hmm. Now I've got this. I don't know what I should do about that. Should I try? There's gonna be a line either way. There's either gonna be a line because I put two next to each other or there's gonna be a line because they're overlapping. Um, it's not really like super standing out, but you can see it. And the thing I worry about is that edge catching dirt and becoming like a darker line. Either way, there's gonna be a line. Not really happy about that. But I think it's my only option. The line isn't too bad down the middle. It's not ideal, it's not perfect. but it's not awful. It's better than what we had before. And I don't know what paint would have looked like. And I can always peel it off and paint. I don't want to do that. But I could if it was just awful, you know? And this roll was like $6 or something. I mean, a lot cheaper than paint. And the little furniture stick was like 10 or 20 bucks. I feel like that was really expensive. I think this furniture stick is more than the contact paper, which is insane if you think about, you know, the amount of materials here. So it's like a bikini. There's barely anything, but it's $150. And you buy a pair of jeans for 20 bucks. I digress. Looking good, looking good. This is pretty cool. Like overall, it looks like I got a new desktop. Now I just have to keep my son away from it. I really want to get out as much as I can before I poke a bunch of holes with a pen. It's not, I feel like that will makes this, this, the, you know, the underneath susceptible to condensation. I can use a coaster, yes, I know, but in case, you know, the in case, in case, my water bottle doesn't condensate. Is that a word? Condensate. It feels like it's not a word, but it is a word, right? Condensate. My water bottle doesn't condensate, it's insulated. So as long as no one else puts their drinks on my desk, it will be all right. Oh yeah, lots of air bubbles there. I had this really big audition yesterday. Ooh, doggies, if I get that part, oh, oh. see you later. Just kidding. It'll be fun though, that's for sure. Not allowed to talk about it. But if I get it, eventually I can tell you about it. Wow, it was super fun. So fun. There's one of our big potholes and it is much better. I can barely see it. I barely can feel it. Definitely impressed. So I wonder if Pottery Barn furniture is particle board on top. Is it? Is it not? Is that why? Oh, there's a big bubble. Is that why it's so expensive? Is it like solid wood? 
I find that hard to believe. Is it just expensive because they want to be and they charge whatever they want to charge because people will pay it? I don't. Oh. I got you. I don't want to live under there forever. Come out. Come be free. Oh, you want to be free? Trust me. Yes. Oh, we got you. Yes. You just got to coax them a little bit. Tell them what's what. Yes, I know. Normally, we're scrapbooking, we're unboxing our scrapbooking supplies, we're organizing our scrapbooking supplies. Today, we are making a nice new surface for our scrapbooking down the road. I can kind of see where my potholes were, and uh, I think we did a you know, we made a good choice to fill them with white. And if you're gonna buy a whole new desk, bedroom table, make sure you get the, repurpose the old desk or sell it to someone uh, who doesn't mind its age and its defects. Don't just throw it out. Someone could use it for something, somewhere, somehow, some way. Oh yeah, that's kind of craziness happening here. Kind of crazy. You know, and it's like, it's this thing where it's not perfect at first, but then you smooth it out. Okay, last time that happened, I hit my head, so you need to stop. Some of the air bubbles are really cooperative. I'm leaving. Now, I don't know how we're gonna cut this in because like my scissors are cutting terribly. This edge looks really bad. So I probably shouldn't use my scissors. I would think I should use an X-Acto knife. Okay. It has a smell like, I have a really strong sniffer, okay? Let me just tell you, I can smell the adhesive from the stamps in the post office, okay? I can smell, so it might not be something that affects you. I, it's not gonna affect me, but when I'm close to it, it makes me think of the um, plastic inner tubes, like when you're blowing up a, a raft, like a, those really plasticky ones from CVS or Rite Aid or Walmart or Target, they're very, plasticky it smells like that or it smells like the the thing that you would put your mouth on to inflate yeah it smells exactly like that i used to sleep on the big long rafts in the summertime in my living room because it was so hot we had a swamp cooler we didn't have air conditioning so i would have my face up you know sleeping away and inhaling whatever fumes those were they're probably not that bad as long as you're not eating them. Uh, but I can, can't smell it from here. But if I'm like snorting it, then I can smell it. And it again, it's very mild. I have a really strong sniffer. I just happened to notice it and thought I would share. All right, so I'm gonna try my X-Acto knife. The problem is, is this guy's pretty dull. I've used it forever, like 20 years. I have refills, but they're the wrong size. And I did try the other day to use the wrong size and it didn't work out. Maybe I can make it work. I think it'll be better than my scissors. So we'll start on this edge because no one really sees over here. Probably should wear my glasses. So I am just going to follow the edge of the desk. I'm actually touching the desk with my X-Acto knife. That's hugely helpful. And I'm going to press it down, and I think that'll be good. Let's try coming this way and seeing how that appears. Oh yeah, that's great. That is great. That's going to do just fine. So what I'm doing is I'm running the X-Acto knife uh, vertically along the side of my desk so that I get a nice straight line. And then I will press 
down the edge. I don't want to wrap the whole edge. I'm just going to the, the top. I'm just doing the top of the desk because this edge is fine and it curves like this. It's indented along and I just, I really don't want to do that. All right, so that's going to be how we do that. Cool. Well, that was the hardest, that, that, that's the thing that I thought was gonna be the hardest, ends up, ends up being the easiest. Okay, I'm just using my glasses so that I can see what I'm doing. Okay, just kind of poking in. I don't know what's, oh, that's kind of, that didn't work out, because for some reason it's going off there a bit. All right, we're gonna stand up. I'm gonna do this again, like so. Come on, get in there. There we go. That was not perfect. That's okay. Let me just rub it down, but I'm afraid to do that before I get all the pocket or the bubbles out. Watch your head. Very good. Happy with that. Much better than the scissors. Much. And it doesn't need to be a super sharp exacto knife. As you know, this one's like 20 years old. Uh, but this is, you know, thin. This um, material is a very thin material. Wow. I am impressed. Air bubbles before we press the edge down. I'm just gonna do any that I can. All right, so let's do the pinhole thing. Um, we'll do this guy first. Pop, okay. Oh, wow, that's like pretty magical. Pop, gone. Ooh, that's a pretty cool trick. Pop. On. There's a bunch of little guys here. Pop. Yeah, this works really well. And it's just a little bit of work. Okay, so let's press down the edges since we're not pushing anything else towards the edge anymore. The great thing about contact paper is it wants to stick. Uh, so that's helpful. But I'm thinking this is looking good. You know, we got this line here. You know, it's not 100% perfect, but it looks good. It looks better than it did. I don't have to wait for it to dry. I can use it immediately. I don't have fumes in the house, you know. I don't have to prep for painting. Oh, that's the worst. Painting is so cool, but it is so time consuming. Okay, I don't need these. And it's just, mo it's sort of meshing. This, this white is a little bit brighter than my desk was. My desk was a little bit of an off-white. This is more of a white white but not the blue white that's like too white and stark and grayish. It's a nice clean white. Um, and my desk is just a bit off. So the edge is a little bit darker than the top, but this is going right on and it looks really good. I don't, you know, I could do the edge and then it's the same, but then the legs, the legs are off white, the little side, I would be getting out of hand at that point because the legs are like spindles so they have like heart you know like things like this and I don't know if you saw my craft room video where the legs you know of my desk I think you can see them in that uh that would be I don't know how you would contact paper that thing so I'm not gonna do that not a crazy person just the surface we're just doing the surface Pop this guy. Popping you is easy cause you're beautiful. Da, 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 da. Okay. Wow, it just disappears. 
it just disappears. And I think this little pinhole isn't going to get water below the surface or liquids because once you smooth it over, it is pretty sealed probably. You're probably, you've got a hole, let's say this is magnified. And then once you close the bubble, now it's sealed, I think. Again, theory, but I mean, this is great. I'm not gonna pour a bottle of water on my table, but you know, things happen. We have to be realistic. I live in the real world here. So here we have my shadow. <laughs> okay, so here we have the table now. There is a line across the middle, but let me show you a close-up of a pothole if I can find one. Here's one. Let's see if we can see. Oh yeah, kind of you can see it there just a bit, but that was hard. I had to focus on it. Um, but here's the, let's zoom out a little. Here's the whole desk. I mean, it's pretty good. Not too shabby. Pretty cool, right? I mean, look how it used to look. Here's the edge. It's coming right there. So you can see the different colors. This is a little dirty. I should wipe it off. Um, should we get closer here? So yeah, so you can see the line, but that's, I mean, look how good that is. I, I don't know if I'd be able to do that with paint. Probably, but I'm being lazy. It's a pretty good surface. I'm excited. So my next videos, there won't be a bunch of potholes and there won't be a, um, whatchamacallit, a mat, unless I want to use a mat. Yeah, that's pretty good. But yeah, here we are, new desk. All right, I'm pretty happy about it. Do you think we should have contact papered it like we did? Do you think we should have left it alone? Mm -hmm. Did you like the mat, the craft mat that I used to use? Do you think we should have painted it? Do you think we should have gotten a brand new desk? Leave your answer in the comments. We answered our other questions. It, what were the three questions? One was, is it gonna be see-through? Am I gonna see a line? Yes, I can kind of see a line. But I can't really see that stuff, which was important, the little potholes and things. Two, uh, is it going to stick to the potholes? It did, we have no problem with that, with the waxy furniture repair stick. And three, will my mouse work? Let's see. Oh, I'm really happy with this. It's not perfect, but wow. I mean, what would I do if I bought a new desk? I would have the same problems, the surface wants to suck up any condensation. So the same thing would happen. So I would have to get something to put on the top. Then we have the same result that we have now with our used desk. Now, if you find one of these at a garage sale or something, someone's selling it on Facebook Marketplace, and they have a pretty good deal, like 50 bucks, 75 bucks or whatever, snatch it up, cover it up with contact paper and you're good to go. It looks really good. Okay, here's the mouse. Oh, this little edge caught. I might not have done it right. Okay, I just need to push it down a little. If you're worried about that, you could come, you know, wrap all the way around. I was just worried about how would it it's coming off of a flat surface and then it's going into this indented surface all around the desk. And then, you know, I just didn't know how that would actually work. Okay, moving the mouse. Mouse works, mouse works great. So we're answering that question, mouse works great. Answered our three questions. Now you tell me what you would have done for your desk if you had the same problem. Please tell me in the comments, thanks. Thank you so much for watching and thank you for subscribing. Have an amazing week.